Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to ETLQ Lab. This is Hetu, and uh, in this session we will look at uh, natural join. Okay, so we have seen what is equi join in the previous sessions. Yeah, uh, and uh, so now what we will look at what is the natural join, and how the natural join and equi join is different, uh, right? And uh, in in what aspect it is different, right? So what we have to do is first we will try to understand practically okay we will see that practically by coding and we will see that uh, you know how the natural join works and uh, i will also try to recap how the equi join works so that it is very clear in this video itself right and then we can compare it okay guys and we will come to all this pointer because these are the differences yeah so this is also very important question uh, that you will come across uh, come come across what is the difference between natural and equi join all right guys so let me do one thing let me just uh, go back to uh, you know uh, go back to prompt sql prompt right and then uh, we will try to understand it all right so let me share the screen and then we will try to understand that practically okay all right guys so here you go one second okay all right guys so i already have uh, two tables okay one is the employee table emp table and the other one is the dpt table okay in in uh, previously i have created now if you look at so since we are uh, you know learning about join so i have created these two tables and the column a joining condition will happen between uh, dpt underscore number and there is another de department number in the department table also so, so column name is same data type is also same right so what we will do we will try to just see that the recap from the previous session okay so let's try to understand first equi join how does it work and then after that we will see um, we will uh, try to analyze the natural join all right so let me write a code so i'm just saying select star from emp then again i will to say inner join and then dept this is how we write that uh, this is how we write the equi join guys right and then dept dot dept underscore number all all right so guys you might see that here right so first what is happening is when i say select star from so what is happening is it, it is basically selecting all the columns from both the tables yeah because the star means selecting all the columns and here basically employee and uh, department both the tables are joined and it is going to fetch everything okay so if you look at carefully what is happening is it is basically trying to fetch first the employee information because i am putting here first employee right so that's why it is going to display first employee column so employee number employee name department number there are three columns which are found in employee table right now uh, we are trying to you know which uh, so here uh, and then the department tables right department table department number and department number so these are the columns that are being faced okay one thing that you can see is okay so let me try to do one thing so now this is uh this is what it is right so we have to basically uh mention this equality condition right let me try to write the natural join select star from emp it's very simple guys okay so just see that what i'm writing now so i don't need to mention anything any condition nothing okay i just have to say natural join okay sorry i have to put this keyword natural join okay and then boom all right now if you see the output guys what is happening you see we do not have the dept number this column department number twice right so but in case of inner join we are seeing that department number the same thing is appearing twice right in employee table from employee table and department table from here also right so it's same column basically but since this is the same column it it is basically redundant data right it doesn't need to be so that's why natural key is very smart basically it is it will automatically know that that this particular column is having the duplicate means basically this column itself is redundant this two columns so only one column can be uh, displayed okay that's why it has displayed only single column and the joining condition column will be displayed first it is not like that employee so here 
in in inner query what we have done is in inner query we have basically we are displaying the employee tables informations like employee number employee name etc but here in natural join we are actually displaying first the common column that is the joining column right if you see here right so this, this is the common column between these two tables so that column is displayed first and then after that you know it will take the precedence over this employee table and then after the department table because employee table is coming just immediately after from right so that's why employee table information employee number employee name and then uh, the remaining column from the department table so this is how it is okay so guys if you see very closely the output wise there is there is no difference other than uh, you know this uh, department number is displayed twice right here one is from employee table one is from department table otherwise every information is same right in terms of record in terms of number of rows etc everything is same so there is no difference because actually when you say natural join it will basically do the equi join only right without without mentioning it the oracle is very smart it already knows that when you put the natural join it will it will know that it has to perform the equi join basically okay so that is what it means right and then it will uh, display in this this order okay now the key differences uh, as i mentioned before right so the first difference is no need to explicitly mention the equality condition in natural join so here we are not actually defining any condition whatsoever right so we are just simply saying natural join and then uh, one ta other table name right so uh, no need to define explicit condition okay equality condition second matching column in both the tables matching column in both the tables will be displayed only once in the natural natural key okay natural join right however in inner join so every column uh, whether matching or not matching every column will be basically displayed from both the tables okay so this is second difference third difference if you look at uh, third difference is basically see uh, what will happen is if i say in department number okay if i say dept underscore number n u m b e r something like that if i say the column name different okay but basically i am storing the same data but just name of the column if i am changing it my natural join will not work it will fail because natural join works only when we have the same name of the you know same uh, name of the common column and the same data type also so if i have this defined number that also data type in both the table should be number only then only it will work so this is the also one of the difference okay guys however in equi join you can give any name here okay it doesn't matter because actually you are telling that you please go and match this table this column versus this column so if here i have i can say um, uh, for example emp dot dept underscore number equal to dept dot dep underscore n u m b e r if i write like this the column name and that column name is present in department uh, table then also it will work okay guys because i am actually explicitly mentioning what column to be matched with what columns in these two tables right so this is how it is uh, different guys okay third difference and fourth difference is you know the the very obvious question uh, they will ask you so which uh, basically uh, which one is preferred join that we should be using because both are performing the same function so which join we should be using right so in practical practical uh, you know applications we never use the natural joins okay because this is this is very misleading sometime okay if by mistake if somebody has put the same you know uh, the column name as the same but actually those columns uh, maybe you know some by, by mistake only but it will it will match that column name and data type and then it will ultimately lead to a problem right so that's why we should always avoid this natural join okay natural join we are not using in the practical application so we should avoid it however this is very practical and uh, everything you have to mention what exactly you want so here is the possibility there is very less possibility that you are performing the wrong you know uh, wrong calculation or wrong output okay so uh, the question the answer to that which one is uh, preferred one and which one should be used in your practical applications natural join should be avoided inner join is 
the most practical answer okay so inner joint should be used so these are the four differences guys that i wanted to talk about yeah and uh, this is also very important interview question and hope this is really making sense to you and uh, all right i think this is what i wanted to discuss in this video and uh, all right guys so that's all for this video and uh, i'll see you soon with the next video and uh, okay and another thing if you have not subscribed this channel and if you are really liking this the, you know this videos that i am putting in here because i am actually trying to create the whole bunch of uh, you know playlist for everything possible in the etl testing world right so uh, for example i have created unix video couple of them couple of data warehousing concepts some of them are etl testing and this is the database right so so for database also i have created uh, so many other videos you can go and watch them some interview related questions also are there okay so if you are really getting benefit so do consider to subscribe my channel and uh, that really gives me encouragement to you know create more and more video and share more and knowledge more and more knowledge with you so that's really encouraging so thank you guys thank you for watching and uh, see you soon with the next video until then happy learning bye